In the first half, the Wildcats played hard on defense and took care of the ball. In the second half, the Pilots crashed the boards and made back-to-back -back jumpers to take back the lead. The LCU Wildcats had a slow start, but they persevered. Perante Banks found Malik Cooper to shoot his jumpers, giving them a 13-0 run. Karon Baker made four free throws after a tech was called. With LCU's three-pointers and mid-range jumpers, they dominated the first half, but the Pilots took over towards the end. DeAndre Washington made a half-court shot to steal the lead at halftime, 31-28. We had plays down the stretch where we, uh, we didn't really execute the way we wanted to. We kind of... Uh, turned the ball over here and there. We just didn't, you know, memorize the plays, things that we put in for this team, and those are things that can't happen. In the second half, the Wildcats had an answer to every pilot bucket. Free throws brought the pilots back to their largest lead of the game, 56 to 45. Jordan Abubutu and Malik Cooper made baseline jumpers to close the gap, 60 to 58. LSUS got the lead back up to five points but the Wildcats did not give up. KJ Bilbo hit a three-pointer, closing the lead with a single bucket, 63-61. to The Wildcats went cold and the Pilots pulled away at the free throw line to end LCU's season. Despite the loss, LCU head coach Rennie Mason was proud of his team. You know, a lot of people talk about Karen and what he does for us, but it's those guys like Malik Cooper and KJ and Ferrante Banks that that really helps solidify who we are. Following the game, Karan Baker and Malik Cooper were named to the all-tournament team. The Pilots' Leandre Washington led the team with 25 points, and Akeem White scored 17 points. The LCU Wildcats were the underdogs all year, but they proved they could compete with the best teams. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.